Hello everyone, welcome to the next session of finite element analysis. I am solving question 8 of direct application of EME. Solve for complete analysis. This is a step bar given to me. Both the ends are fixed and here I can see that there are two torques applied. So this is a problem of torsion. Now here I am going to mark a node. Okay, let's mark the elements first. 1, 2, 3. There should be a node at this end. There will be a node here because there is a sudden moment applied. There is a change in cross section. So second node. Same rule applies for this third node. And at the end point there should be a node. So this is the fourth node. The length and other dimensions are given. The value of G is given to me as 100 gigapascal. That is rigidity. Modulus of rigidity is given as 100 gigapascal. I uh, will solve this as 1 into 10 raised to 5 Newton per mm square. In the solution, step 1 will be discretization. I will draw element 1, 2 and 3. Element 1 is between node 1 and 2. 2 is between node 2 and 3. And 3 is between node 3 and 4. So there are total 4 nodes. There will be obviously H1 which is given as 450, H2 400 and H3 that is 500. Next, I will go to step 2 that is development of EME. The equation here is different from the previous equations that we were using. Here, I will have GJ by HE 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 theta 1 theta 2 raised to E is equal to T1 T2 raised to E. Now, from strength of material subject, if you recollect, there is a formula T by J is equal to tau by R is equal to G theta by L. This is the formula for torsion. Now, in this, if I just solve this T, okay, I am just neglecting this term. I am using this term and this term. So, if I multiply this J over here, I will have G J by L into theta. So, if you look at this, this is G J by L. L is length and here we are using H for FEA into theta is equal to T. So, this is the same equation which you can see I am using. G will be my modulus of rigidity. J is my polar modulus and H is my length. So, we will solve for element 1. It will be G J1 upon H1 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 theta 1 theta 2 raised to 1 is equal to t1 t2 raised to 1. t is the torque that is applied and theta is the angle of twist. Now j has a formula that is pi by 32 d raised to 4. This is the general formula that is to be used for j. So when I substitute here g is 1 into 10 raised to 5 j will be pi by 32 the diameter is 100 raised to 4 and h1 is 450 then i have 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 theta 1 theta 2 raised to 1 is equal to t1 t2 raised to 1 when i solve this i get a 10 raised to 6 common and the number that i obtain is 2181.6 which i multiply inside Now, element 1 is between node 1, 2. Now, I would like to mention over here as to why I have taken 10 raised to 6 common. If you look at this, if I solve this, I get 3 into 10 raised to 3 Newton. I need to convert this into Newton mm. So, kilonewton to Newton is 10 raised to 3 and meter to mm is another 10 raised to 3, which makes it to 3 into 10 raised to 6 Newton mm. So, when I substitute this value of torque on the right hand side, I will have to cancel out 10 raised to 6. So, I have taken 10 raised to 6 common over here. Similarly, this is 2 into 10 raised to 6 Newton mm. Next, we will go for element 2. G 
j2 by h2 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 theta 1 theta 2 raised to 2 is equal to t1 t2 raised to 2 when i solve this i get 10 raised to 6 common and the number multiplying inside is 1005.3 element 2 is between node 2 3 last when i solve for element 3 I am directly writing the values because I think by now you have understood. So, no point in writing it again and again. I have 122.71 as the number which I multiply inside. Element 3 is between node 3, 4. So these are the EMEs. Next, I'll go for step three, that is development of GME. There are total four nodes and ten raised to six outside. So I have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. Here I have theta one, theta two, theta three, theta four is equal to T1, T2, T3, T4. First element is between node 1, 2. The value is 2181.66. So I'll place here 2181.66. Next element is between 2, 3. The value is 1005.3. So I have plus 1005.3. And element 3 is between 3432 so plus 1222.71. These elements will be 0. Next I will go for step 4 imposing boundary conditions. The variables are theta 1, theta 2, theta 3 and theta 4. I have T1, T2, T3, T4. When I look at the diagram, node 1 and 4 are fixed. So there will be no angle of twist at these positions. So theta 1 is 0, theta 4 is 0. I will write here node 1 is fixed. And here I will write node 4 is fixed. These two will obviously be question mark. Now when you look at node 2 and 3, at node 2 there is a torque of 3 kilonewton meter. If I assume that this is anti-clockwise negative and this is 2 kN clockwise positive, so these are the two values of torque given to me. So I have T2 as minus 3 into 10 raised to 6 Newton mm and T3 as 2 into 10 raised to 6 Newton mm. Since I know these two values, theta 2 and theta 3 will be question mark. Now here I will mark theta 1 as 0. So first row, first column, I'll neglect for some time. Theta 4 is 0. So fourth row, fourth column will be neglected for some time. I will be writing this much matrix over here and calculating the value of theta 2 and theta 3. Then I'll get back to calculating of T1 and T4. So I have a 10 raised to 6 common. I get 3186.96 minus 1005.3. Here I have theta 2 and theta 3 is equal to minus 3, 2 into 10 raised to 6. 10 raised to 6 gets cancelled from both the sides. I will multiply 
and write the equations. When I solve these two equations, I get theta 2 as minus 5.31 into 10 raised to minus 4 and theta 3 as 1.29 into 10 raised to minus 3. Now the unit of these angle of twist is radian and not degrees. Now I'll revisit this equation and I'll find out the first term is 0, only theta 2 remains is equal to T1 and here I will have first two term not present. This term into theta 3, this is again 0, is equal to T4. So therefore, 10 raised to 6 into minus 2181.66 theta 2. 10 raised to 6 gets cancelled. So, T1 I get as 1.158 kilonewton meter. And for T4, the equation is, Zero point one five eight with a negative sign kilonewton meter. Last, I'll go for the check step. The summation of torque should be equal to zero. So I have T one plus T two plus T three plus T four, which is one point one five eight minus three plus two and minus zero point one five eight. When I solve this, I get zero. Hence. This numerical ends here because there are no calculation of stresses. So with this, I am going to end the session. I hope you have understood the numerical. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. See you in the next session. Thank you. Mm -hmm.